All right, I'm probably about a quarter of the way through the rework. I wanted to show you guys what I've been doing. Uh, I basically just started sanding it. You can actually see where all the lines are, where the blue paint still is, are the low spots, and where I've sanded through are the high spots. And I did a lot of sanding on this, and it still needs more sanding. So, like I said, I jumped the gun. I shouldn't have painted it yet. I should have sanded it, and then sanded it, and then sanded it some more. Uh, part of me is a bit worried I might actually end up sanding right through all the newsprint. I think I did three coats? Maybe only two, but I think three. And probably what I needed to do was like five. So five coats and then just sand, sand, sand. Um, it's a lesson I commonly forget. Uh, I don't like sanding because it's time consuming and tedious, but you need to do it and you need to do it a lot. Otherwise, you're not going to be happy with how things work out. So, rather than force you to watch me do more sanding, I just wanted to show you this brief update. Um, I'm going to do some more sanding and show you what happens after that's all done. And then maybe I'll try putting paint on it again. Uh, we shall see. Alright, it's sanded. Uh, I ended up sanding it with a couple different grades of paper. I started off with an 80 grit, then went to a 150 grit, and then went to a 220 grit, and then went back to, a, I think, a 150 grit to do everything by hand. Um, it probably still needs to be sanded more, because there's still like some high and low spots, but I think that's enough sanding for now. Um, It feels smooth, but it felt smooth before. I'm hoping I have better luck this time. What I'm going to do, though, is I've still got more of that glue-water mixture. What I did is I took all the dust that came off of this, because, well, there was a lot of dust, and I mixed it in there. So I'm kind of hoping it'll, like, fill some gaps and maybe make it a bit better. So I'm going to paint that on. I'm hoping it's the right thing to do. It's actually almost kind of like a paste now, instead of just a glue. But I'm hoping that will fill up any little gaps and low spots. And then when I give it a final sand, like with a high, high grit paper, it'll be smooth and then it'll paint nicely. At the very least, it's now kind of the color that I want it to be. I guess because I've sanded off the paint and all that jazz. No idea if this is going to work. So you'll find out when I find out. All I can say is this. I think in my attempt to save time and find a better process, I might have just been wasting that time. I think that plastic resin is probably one of the better ways, which I guess is why people are always using it when they're doing costume things like this. I mean, if they're not 3D printing, but I don't think I can afford a 3D printer just yet. I could probably do the modeling stuff, because I know how to how to do solid modeling and all that jazz. But, let's hope that this works out. I would love to be able to move on past this piece and actually start working on some of the other pieces. But, who knows? I mean, I kind of stalled on this whole project for a while already, like several years. As you can tell, I'm mildly disheartened. I would just like to see something meaningful done on this so that I can one day picture having this costume complete. I mean, the worst part is I still haven't really thought about how I'm going to be putting it on. Uh, I kind of figured that I would just wait until I actually had the pieces all hardened and painted. And well, The texture on this is getting a little weird. 
Well, I still know, I still, I'm still gonna have to sand it, so that shouldn't come as a shock or anything. If I'm lucky, it's filling in all the gaps. If I'm unlucky, uh, <laughs> nothing has changed. But, like I was saying, I would just like to be able to get a piece done. There we go. I don't need that falling and gluing itself onto this when I'm not around. But anyways, I make these mistakes so that you don't have to. You can learn from what I'm doing and hopefully do a better job. I don't know how much of this pasty stuff I should be putting on, but I've got a bunch. Might as well use what I can. And then maybe do something a bit more relaxing than banging my head up against this costume of mine. Not sure how I about how I feel about how the texture is going because it goes on kind of smooth and then it gets a bit bumply looking. Maybe that's just all the like dust and grit that I put in here. I do like how it's almost like I'm painting it on. I guess what I will see though is once it completely dries, if it's actually kind of made the surface a bit harder too, because again, I do want it to be a nice hard durable surface, uh, like the plastic resin gives. I think though, if this experiment doesn't work out, uh, I'm just, I'm gonna have to go back to the plastic. It's a more complicated procedure, I don't like it as much but I like the results that it gives. I'm really happy with the helmet that I did. The chest piece worked out pretty nicely too. And I think that those were the only ones that I plasticed. I do have another pauldron done that was just with the glue and I'm not happy with how the surface is. It's all painted and everything though. Um, I do actually have some thoughts about that like some kind of clear coats that I could put on it to make it hard after the fact. Uh, and I might actually do that because I don't want to have to like repaint and redo an entire another piece as well. This has been my rework piece. I don't know if you can see, let me try zooming in. Like you can see here, the texture is kind of weird, like you paint it on and it goes smooth, but then you leave it and it dries off and it gets a bit bumpy. But perfection uh, has left the window. I'm just going for good enough at this point on this piece. Like I said, I want to move on. I'm sure I'm being a bit more critical of my own work too, because I want it to look really nice. I want people to be impressed by it. Part of me is thinking of going to a games workshop and showing it off, because I'm sure everyone there playing with the miniatures would get a kick out of a full-size Space Marine costume that someone was wearing. Um, but that's, that's going to be in the future. That's not going to be for a while, because this takes a long time. At this point, I'm basically just trying to use up the mix of stuff that I've got. I don't think that adding any more is necessarily doing much, but I'm really hoping that it's going to fill any gaps. Because if that works, that would be great. I just want a nice, smooth coat of paint to go on. No lines, no muss, no fuss. I know there's going to be more sanding, but 
That's just not something I think I can escape. Uh, without that, well, even with a 3D printer, I think you still need to sand it to get rid of all the lines. I don't know, I really haven't done much with 3D printing. I know a few people who have them. Well, a few workplaces that have them, and I know the people that work there. But I don't think I could convince them to print off an entire suit of stuff for me. And, I don't know, I like kind of doing it myself. I guess that's what hobbies are supposed to be for. Anyways, I'm just kind of blathering on at this point. You can see what I've done. It's looking kind of like it's primed. Here's hoping. If I'm lucky, it's not going to do something too weird with the way it's drying all lumpy. And yeah, I guess I will show you what it looks like when it's dry. And then I will sand it. And then I will show you me trying to put some more paint on it and whether or not that actually works. I guess we will see.